What's up, YouTube? Swan here, and today I'm going to be going over Hal Newhauser, his signature series card in MLB The Show 20. So sit back, and I hope you enjoy. All right, so Hal Newhauser, in my opinion, is a top three pitcher in this game. Well, one, he has a great pitch selection. But second, the thing that gets me a lot is the fact that this man has almost max stamina and also has the workhorse quirk. So the thing I found with him, both pitching with him and hitting against him, is the fact that this guy, you're going to have to knock him out of the game because he ain't going to leave the game from just being tired. This card has great per nines, and the pitch selection is actually very good. He's got a fastball that touches 100, and insane break on his three off-speed pitches. Two seam is actually really good, too. Like I said, this guy is a top three pitcher in this game and one of my favorite guys to have on the mound. He's one of the three guys that I trust most on the mound in a big ring season game. All right, so I'm going to go over my sequences that I typically use with Hal Newhauser. I'm going to I'm gonna put it in more of a lefty and then righty separate standpoint because there are different strategies for both. So versus righties, I like to go with the fastball and the two seam up away and away as always. I, I mention that all the time. That pitch, I think, is one of the most underrated pitches in this game because nobody looks for it. I also bring in the fastball sometimes, um, kind of, you know, throw them off. If I'm throwing a lot of off-speed inside, I'll go with a fastball up and in or a fastball just middle in and kind of, you know, try to dot it and make them be late. They might pop it up, they might break a bat, and that's super helpful. The slider low and in and the curve low and in are also very effective as always. With how they break a lot, so with the curve, you kind of have to adjust a little bit up or make sure that you, you, you're you right on with that timing. The slider breaks a lot too. You're able to get that way in on them. And a lot of times if you're pounding that inside fastball a little bit, they're gonna think it's a fastball and they'll swing right through it, especially because there's a lot of speed change and they're gonna be incredibly early on it. The change up, normally I like talking change up glove side and that is very effective with Hal, especially if you're pounding a low and in fastball. But with how hit, the speed difference is so much, you can pretty much put the change anywhere low in the zone. Even a little bit below the zone, it's very deceptive, it moves a lot, and frankly, very effective versus righties in general. So basically, his pitch combinations mean that if you if you mix your fastball and off-speed well, you're gonna be good placing it pretty much anywhere, especially if you are comfortable placing it in only certain areas without Newhauser. Like I mentioned, fastball in, tunnel that with the off-speed, that's gonna be a very effective pitch style for you if you're just dotting that fastball and then having the off-speed break off of it, either that be the change up down or the slider and the curve inside. All right, so versus lefties, a little bit different, but similar. Two seam in, I rock that a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. That two seam in, it breaks a lot and it's still going about 96 mile an hour. It's hard to turn on that. Fastball up and in and then fastball up and away. The fastball up and away is key against lefties. I think it keeps them off balance. When they see something away, they're thinking off speed. When they're seeing something in, they think fastball. It's gonna mess with their timing. It's also gonna mess with their eye. That, that pitch, if you can locate it, is very effective against lefties. Slider and curve low and away. That's typical left on left stuff right there. But I also like to front door it on them sometimes, have it land low and in. That slider, especially because of how much lateral it moves, it might freeze them. They might think it's one of those two seams in again and then it just drops right in the zone. The change low and in is super effective against lefties as well. Sometimes I go low and away. It's rare. If, I, if I'm feeling comfortable with the change up and I really need a strike, I will do that but the change low and in is effective mixing off that two seam in. And then if these if these left-handed batters start, you know, laying off of the, the sliders low and away, for example, and their balls and they're laying it off, dot a fastball there, keep them guessing, that might you might get a free strike out of it. All right, so in overview of Hal Newhauser, top three pitcher in the game. Great per nines, great stuff, workhorse ability. He's you're, he's not going to get knocked out of the game unless you, someone hits him out of the game. He's going to be a guy that if you want to, you can use out of your bullpen. He's very effective. There are a lot of tunneling measures you can go with him, but with his pitch style and his stuff, you can go right at hitters. You don't need to be very, very dicey with the ball or anything like certain other guys. Al Newhauser, top three pitcher in the game. Highly recommend. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please, if you haven't yet, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. We're pushing for 200 subs now. As well as leave a comment down below. Keep letting me know who you want to see. I know there have been some pictures released since the last video. So if you want to see them, let me know down in the comments below. I also stream on Twitch. So if you're looking for more content, I'm there almost every day. 
click the link down in the description below follow the channel and you'll be seeing a lot of extra content there i appreciate you guys watching the video and i'll see you next time